Hello everyone, I'm Kayla Lim, the games reporter at the Korea Herald. Today, we're going to interview a very special person, CEO Tim Sweeney of Epic Games, who flew in from North Carolina for Unreal Summit 2019 in Seoul. I'm Tim Sweeney of Epic Games. I like to come to Korea once or twice a year. Um, I love Korean barbecue. Bulgogi, it's the best thing in the world. Well, you know, we opened Epic Games Korea 10 years ago um, because we noticed that a huge set of high-end developers were building great games in Korea. We originally built the Unreal Engine for uh, supporting game developers, making games like, uh, like ours. But quickly we found that people outside of gaming uh, started adopting it because it provided real-time computer graphics that looked very close to reality. Um, and so we've seen architects visualizing their buildings uh, in their design phase, they'll start designing a building, they'll get their client to go into VR and preview the building in real time in the Unreal Engine before they've actually constructed anything. We call this Unreal because it's capable of producing uh, realistic images, but it's also capable of going beyond realism, you know, producing the Pixar style, stylized look of Fortnite um, or any other uh, styles that go uh, beyond reality. You know, programming is the most fun part of my job. I think I was 20 uh, when I started Epic. Uh, we started in 1991. Um, I, was, uh, I was in college at the time, studying mechanical engineering. But I'd been building games on my own for eight or nine years. Um, and uh, I, I built a little game that I wanted to release and uh, decided to bring all of the neighbor kids over to test it out. And so I had neighbor kids coming over to my house, playing the game, and they really enjoyed it. And that gave me the confidence to release the game to the world um, in November 1991. Epic is about 1,200 employees around the world, um, building games and building the Unreal Engine technology, which powers other video games. Well, you know, Epic began as a game developer ourselves. And so uh, we've always had the first-hand experience of the challenges that game developers go through when they're creating games and trying to build a business around them. We aim to solve the problems for them, which we had ourselves. And I think the thing that's missing right now is we have social networks. Uh, we have Facebook and Talk and uh, Twitter um, and Naver and all of these other tools for communicating with each other. But they're all based on text and pictures and movies. I think. The next step is going to be having these social experiences where you can get together with your friends in a virtual world, wherever you are. And so you'll have the, a much greater ability to display emotion and interact people, uh, with people personally uh, than you have in today's media. Try